I'd like to introduce the DPAR 600. This is a dedicated gold machine and is perfect for searching highly mineralised ground with hot rocks, normally where gold is found. Today we're on a gold field, the soil conditions are really, really bad. They're very highly mineralised. So, I'll let you listen to the, the ground and I'll just pump the coil on it. Listen to that. Everywhere. There's no way you'll be able to search this ground with a conventional detector. So what we need to do first of all is eliminate the ground by using the fast grab system. All we have to do is press the ground grab button while pumping the coil. Perfect, that's eliminated the ground. Next, we have to make one or two small adjustments. We need to sweep the coil on the ground and look at the mineralisation bar. This gives us an indication of how badly mineralised the soil is. We need to give it a little bit of time for the machine to properly analyse the ground. And there you can see we've got almost a maximum mineralisation bar which indicates this soil is really, really bad. So the second adjustment I need to make is to the reactivity. We're using reactivity 2, I need to put it up to reactivity 3. This is what we recommend using in bad ground. Reactivity 3. Now that's quieted the machine down quite a lot. I'm happy with that, but I still need to make one more adjustment, which is very important. It's the sensitivity. The factory preset has a sensitivity of 95. We need to lower it just to get a smoother operation. 90. Still a little bit of noise coming from the ground. 80. Seventy-five, that's absolutely perfect. Don't be afraid to lower the sensitivity if your soil conditions are really bad. The key to finding small gold nuggets is to have the machine operating smoothly so you can hear the tiny targets. So just to recap on setting up your DPAR 600. First of all, make sure the machine is ground balanced by using the ground grab button and pumping. Secondly, Sweep the coil over the ground, look at the mineralisation meter. If it's quite high, then you need to adjust your reactivity to 3 or even 4. Adjust the sensitivity so the machine operates smoothly with no sparse signals. Then you can hear small nuggets easily. While searching, keep your eye on the mineralisation bar because this will give you an indication if the ground is changing. You can also hear the ground changes by the machine's reaction. All you need to do when the ground changes is press the fast grab button, pump it once or twice and then just reset the machine to the ground. The DPAR 600 has a massive advantage over many other VLF Goldfield machines. It uses an adjustable reactivity. Higher levels can give far better signal analysis on difficult soils. One of the biggest problems when searching mineralised ground for gold nuggets is hot rock and the way you recognise them. The DPAR 600, using reactivity number 3, gives you an excellent signal response. Let me demonstrate on a hot rock and a gold nugget. First of all, the hot rock. Wow, 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 wow. It's a double sound and it's reversing. And now the nugget. Zip, 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 zip. Perfect every time. A single tone. Once again, hot rock. Wah ah, wah ah, wah ah, wah ah. The nugget, zip. So that's just an easy way to recognise hot rocks in the field. The audio response adjusts the signal intensity on targets. It can be used in two ways. If your sites are badly contaminated with hot rock, you can use a lower audio response to suppress the ground noise. However, if you're searching 
quiet ground and hoping to find tiny targets, you can turn the audio response up so it gives a more boosted audio sound. Audio threshold. A lot of people like to hear an audio threshold when they're searching. The audio threshold is a background hum. Now this doesn't really enhance the performance of the machine, it just gives a carrier in the background. Sometimes you can tell a difficult target or a bad target because the hum will drop out before the signal. And also, while we're speaking about audio threshold, don't have it too high because if it's too high, you'll eliminate the sound from small targets. Disc IAR, you'll find it under the menu. It's got a range of between 0 to 5. With 0, disc IAR is switched off. There's no iron rejection at all, and we recommend this for gold nugget hunting. However, if you've got lots of iron present, you may want to eliminate some of the iron, and it gives a broken signal, a, a stutter on iron. We've got in front of me a ferrous target. I'm just gonna let you hear it on IAR 0. No rejection at all. IAR number three. As I get closer to the target, it starts to reject it. And IAR five. This is full range iron rejection. The DPAR offers another really big advantage, frequencies. It's got a choice of three frequencies, 15 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, and 50 kilohertz. But in between them frequencies, there's a further seven steps. So you've got a full range of between 14 kilohertz and 57 kilohertz. So it's gonna suit a wide range of search scenarios and also eliminate EMI interference from other detectors. Now, 15 kilohertz and 30 kilohertz are for more general detecting. Whereas the higher frequency, 50 kilohertz, is more specific to finding the smallest gold nuggets in difficult soils. This little experiment shows the importance of choosing the right frequency for the targets you want. Buried beneath me is a very small gold nugget. Bearing in mind this is in very mineralized soil. 14 kilohertz. I can hardly hear anything there. Now I'm gonna to switch to 50 kilohertz. And the signal's there. So if you're searching for small gold nuggets, we recommend you use a higher frequency. So far, we've been using the 22 centimeter round coil, which is a great coil for most detecting scenarios. We're now using this elliptical coil, which runs off a very high frequency, 20, 40, and 80 kilohertz. It's not so affected by the ground, and it should be perfect for the tiny gold nuggets. Let me show you a demonstration over the same target. So this is the same nugget with the new elliptical high frequency coil. Wow. That makes a really big difference. Four centimeters above the ground, I'm still getting the target. Perfect. Now I'm gonna recover the target just to show you how small it really is. Can you see it there? It's a tiny little nugget. No wonder it's so hard to locate. Now I'm on a different piece of ground, so the procedure is exactly the same as before. First of all, we ground grab, then we sweep to get the mineralization meter, then we adjust the reactivity, then the sensitivity. So first of all, ground grab. Perfect, now a slow sweep. giving the machine time to get a good meter reading. Straight away I can see that this 
ground is not as mineralized as before because we've only got half the bars on the meter so I can comfortably use a lower reactivity setting. Higher reactivity settings use a different filtering. Lower reactivity settings are better for milder ground conditions. They may give you a little bit more depth. So in this instance I'm going to use reactivity number two. Perfect and now we need to adjust the sensitivity. eighty five that's perfect because the ground is not so mineralized i'm using a lower reactivity setting a lower reactivity setting gives a different sound on hot rocks so let me demonstrate the difference between hot rocks with a lower reactivity setting and a gold nugget this is the large hot rock with reactivity number two burr burr small hot rock Burr, burr. The nugget. Zip, zip, zip. Reactivity number one. Boom, much wider. Small hot rock. Nugget. Zip, zip. Just to finish this experiment, I'm going to raise the reactivity levels up to three and four and just quickly let you hear the different targets. Reactivity number three. Double, da 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 da. Hot rock. And again. Da 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 da. Two, two bleeps. Nugget. Perfect. Reactivity number four, a quicker double bleep. Small hot rock, a quicker double bleep. The nugget, zip, 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 zip. So the DPR 600 can tell the difference between hot rocks and nuggets with ease. Just make sure you've got the reactivity setting suitable for your environment. So now let's do some searching with the DPR. Target ID number one, probability of iron, 100% again. That's a very small target, that's worth a dig. It's a very small target, but really, really deep in these soil conditions. That's a nice smooth sound.
Well, what do you think of that? That ends our short video on the DPR 600. Thanks for watching.